my birthday. What? What else do you want to know about me? You? Chandler? What am I, your... your research project? In my agency, we call this sloppy work. And Stamp would know it was you in an instant. <gasps> the door was locked. Oh. Uh, spy school 101. Oh, yeah, aren't you clever? You know what? I really don't give a damn if Stan finds out that I was going through his things, all right, 007? <laughs> Since I'm here, why didn't you tell me what it is you're looking for? How about a little piece? I don't follow. No, of course you don't. Of course you don't, because you, Stamp, Adam Chandler, you all think that you've got this claim on my life. And, and you know what? You don't. So why don't you tell someone? Like me? Maybe I could... You could what? You could, like, help me? <clears throat> All right, actually, you know how you could help me? If you don't mind, is, um, leaving. Getting out of here. Because if I need to find out why Stamp is poking around in my life, why he keeps acting... I don't really need to explain anything to you. I really don't. I don't. I don't. So you know what? You stamp. You guys can do your little dance and figure out who's the better undercover agent. All right? Just leave me out of it. I was married to your mother's cousin. If there's anything you want to know about your mother, for me, I was married to Duke Lavery. His cousin was Gail, your mother, right? Um, I, I don't think that they were close at all, but they did stay in touch with cards and, and some letters, I think. Did, did she ever mention him to you when you were growing up? You really are a piece of work. I'm not lying. Is, 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 do you just want me to, like, help you with, with Stamp in some way in your investigation? Whatever the hell is. Is, is, is that what... Uh, I mean, for, first, you used my father, and that, that, that didn't really pan out, so you bring up my mother, my God. And what I, I know everything I need to know about my parents. Thank you very much. Look at you. All you want to do is beat up on someone all the time. You hate me, you hate Stamp, Adam Chandler. We're all burdens, we're all corrupt, and you pay the price. Have I got that right? This is really interesting. First, you, you, know, you poke around about my family, and then all of a sudden you give me a, like this dime store psychoanalysis for free. Well, it's not hard. Oh, no? Why is that? You're not very complex. Oh. <laughs> You're a black and white kind of guy. Just like your cousin, Duke. I've been watching you, Ryan, for quite some time. There's a whole club of you. Did you know that? I know what you've been through. God. Every miserable thing that could happen to a guy has happened to you this year. Look at you. You're still standing. You're one of the strong ones. Keep on marching, no matter what. Your point. Please. I've only met a handful of people like you. One of them being your cousin, Duke. He also was outraged by basic rights being violated. <clears throat> and especially by the rich and powerful, especially. So, so what, you, you think that somehow distinguishes me in some way? Because I don't. Oh, I do. Yeah, right. I mean, there are, there's not a lot of people left like you. 
People who have such strong instincts about what is right and what is wrong. Hmm. And I, I know, I know, it just drives you crazy when you can't work it all out. That's why I drink myself into oblivion and I complain. <laughs> I, that's why. I don't know, but I happen to think that perhaps it's because you have a lot of energy and you don't know how to channel it in the right direction. For the greater good, is that what you're saying? For yourself. To restore order to your idea of what the world should be like. What are you, um, what, what are you talking about? What, what are you saying, Anna? Really, I have no idea. I would kill to work with someone like you. No one in my business thinks the way you do. Well, I mean, no one that I know now, anyway. I think the way you do. I guess what I'm suggesting, if you're interested, is that I could teach you how to do this, you know, without making a mess. It'd be good for both of us. Anna, I'm trashing a guy's bedroom to find out why he's always in my business. I'm, I'm actually not on a job interview for the WSB. I'm not. <laughs> Well, uh, since you're not going anywhere, obviously, I, uh, I am. Ryan, I was talking to you about your cousin Duke. You wouldn't believe how many people that guy ticked off in his life. And the good he did while he was at it. <laughs> <laughs>